Welcome to today's practice, which is all about building strength and confidence. My name is Sabrina, and we'll start off right off the bat so you can step to the front of your mat in Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Hands in prayer, keep your eyes closed, big toes touch, keep some kind of activation in your legs, pelvic floor, suck in your lower belly, neck is long, and get ready for today's practice. Inhale, bring your arms up, palms touch, look at your thumbs. And exhale, easy fold forward, keep your knees bent in Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, keep your hands on the ground. And exhale, step back into high plank pose. As we slowly build up the heat to wake up the body, wake up the muscles, And exhale, bend your elbows, lower yourself all the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog, so push into the feet, push into the hands, expand your chest. And exhale, hips back and up for downward facing dog. You can keep your knees bent, heels don't have to touch the floor for a first downward dog or ever. Just push into the hands to lengthen the spine, releasing the muscles of the back and the neck, gazing to your knees. Good job. Inhale, look in between your hands. Easy step forward and halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. You can keep your knees bent. Inhale, get ready to come all the way back up. Hands touch, look up. And exhale, arms by your sides. Let's go for a second round. Inhale, bring your arms up. Look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up. Keep your hands on the ground. And exhale, step back into high plank pose. Then lower yourself all the way to the ground. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, roll back into downward facing dog. Lengthen the legs as much as you can without forcing or pushing the body can move your dog in different ways that feels good. Expand the fingers. And inhale, look in between your hands, halfway up, step forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms back up, look at your thumbs. And exhale, come back to center, Samastidihi. Good job. Next, we'll go for a tree pose. So inhale, lift your right knee up. And just try to find your balance on your left foot. So you can hold your right knee with your hands, really feeling the four corners of the left foot on the ground. And when you're ready for tree pose, you can place the right foot on the inside of your shin or... Rest it on your inner thigh, on your inner left thigh, opening up the right hip and right knee towards the side. Place your hands in prayer and try to find a focus point somewhere on the ground to keep your balance. You've got this. You try to push into your thigh and thigh is pushing back into the foot. And if you want to go even deeper, lift your arms up. Good job. Slowly come back to center. We'll switch sides. So inhale, bring your left knee up and hold it with your hands. And you're finding your balance on the right foot, feeling the four corners of the foot on the ground. And when you're ready, place your left foot inside your inner shin or your inner thigh. Just make sure that the foot doesn't land on the knee. And push into the thigh with the foot and, and try to push back with your thigh. Placing your hands together and if you want to go deeper, 
lift your arms up, looking at a certain spot on the floor to keep your balance. Good job. Let's come back to center at the front of your mat. Take a moment here to breathe in and breathe out. Place your hands on your hips. And inhale, bring your left foot back facing the side of your mat. Keep your hands on your hips. Wide legs open. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold forward, hands between the legs, grab your big toes with your fingers, and go deeper into your forward fold, bending the elbows out, trying to really fold at the hips, keeping your spine as straight as possible without, without rounding your back too much here, really feeling the deep stretch behind your legs. And inhale halfway up, exhale here. Inhale, come all the way back up, hands on your hips. And come facing the front of your mat. And bend your right knee, 90 degree angle, extend your left leg back. And inhale, place your right hand on the outside of your right foot, extending your left leg Pin gazing towards the left fingers, feeling the deep stretch on the whole left side of your body. Inhale, come back to center. Let's meet in lunge. So keep your right knee bent, 90 degree angle. Hands in prayer. Inhale, bring your arms up if you want to go deeper. Keep looking forward, really feeling the deep stretch in your left thigh and left hip. You've got this. Don't give up. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind your back, opening up the chest. And on your next exhale, fold forward. It's okay if you fall on the side. Exhale, fold forward inside your right thigh. Inhale, come back up. Still fingers interlaced. And lower your knee down for a low lunge position, pointing your toes back. Got this. We're almost done on this side. Exhale. Good job. Hands down. Let's meet in downward facing dog. Take a moment here to deeply breathe in and out as we're moving the stagnation in the body, really boosting our circulation. Get ready for the other side. Inhale, bring your left foot forward in between your hands. Bend your left knee 90 degree angle, extend your right leg out. Left hand is on the outside of the left foot. Extend your right arm and gaze towards the right fingers. Deeply feeling the stretch on the whole right side of the body. Inhale, come back to center. Let's face the front of our mat. Still left knee is bent. Let's go for a lunge. Place your hands in prayer. And if you want to go deeper, inhale, bring your arms up. Keep facing in front of you. Really feeling your right thigh, right hip. Deep, deep stretch. Expanding the spine. Opening up the chest. Inhale, interlocking the fingers behind your back. And get ready to fold forward inside your left thigh. Try to keep your balance here. We're almost there. Don't give up. Deep inhale and exhale. And on your next inhale, come all the way back up. And let's lower into low lunge. So bring your right knee down. Point the fingers, point the toes back, hands in prayer. And stay here for one breath.
You've got this. Good job. Hands on the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. And out. Even you can let it out through your mouth. You can move your dog. Bending your knees. Whatever feels good right now. And inhale. Look in between your hands. Cross your feet. And come lying down on the mat. Bend your knees, lifting the feet off the ground, and grab the knees with your hands, and slowly doing big circles towards the right with your knees, slowly calming down our breath. Let's do circles on the left side, big, fun, luxurious circles. With the knees, really feeling the thighs melting into the hip sockets. Next, let's bring our knees to your chest, hug the knees to your chest. One last breath here. And while we're here, let's go for a quick happy baby. So you can grab the outsides of the feet, opening up the hips and knees. As we're slowly cooling down from this strength and confidence practice. Release the feet. One last hug. Knees to your chest. Then slowly bringing the feet to the ground, keeping your knees bent, hands on the lower belly. As we're ready to slowly transition into Shavasana or Corpse Pose, extend the legs out, palms facing up, releasing any grip or tension, releasing any hold on the breath, release the muscles in your jaw. Try to lower your shoulders a little bit too, so by you can roll your shoulders back and down. Open up the chest a little. And really just enjoying the next few minutes in Shavasana as deep, restful minutes. And when you're ready, you can slowly wake up the body by moving the fingers, moving the toes. Bend your knees, bend your elbows. Hug the knees to your chest before rolling on to your right side. And coming back up into a seated position. Hands in prayer. Keep your eyes closed and inhale to Om. Inhale. Om. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste. 
Congrats, you've just completed today's practice. Make sure you don't miss tomorrow's video by downloading the free detox calendar. Inside, you'll find a healing yoga practice to do every day, plus a quick detox recipe to do to get the best results. So download your calendar by clicking the link in the description box below. Okay, so now's the time for our quick and simple healing recipe of the day to complement this yoga practice. So today we're making kitchari, which is an Ayurvedic staple food usually used for our seasonal cleanse or when you want to simply boost your digestive system or really give your body a break. And what I mean by giving your body a break is mainly that when we eat a bunch of different complicated hard to digest food all the time, three times a day, um, combine this with a hectic lifestyle. It's just too hard for your body to digest all of this. So when you stick to very simple, easy to digest with digestive spices, it really is making most of the work for your body. So it kind of gives your body a break in that sense. And what I love about Ayurvedic medicine is it's kind of rebel in its philosophy where we are sticking to pretty much everything that the wellness industry tells us not to eat. So today we are making this kitchari with a bunch of basmati rice, which is a no-no in the mainstream wellness industry. I love it. So if you want to learn more about this different way of approaching wellness, make sure to stick around. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily detox. Make sure to practice every day and you'll see your body and mind transforming naturally. Subscribe to this channel and download the free detox calendar. You can do so by scanning the QR code on the screen or you can click the link in the description box below. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.